Hey, this is John with LLB Magazine. I'm here with Fox Tracks. We're at uh, Long Beach. How you doing, guys? I'm good, man. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, so, Fox Tracks, how did you come up with the name of that? Uh, well, we were um, spent some time in a cabin in North Carolina for five weeks while we were riding our debut EQ called The Cabin, which we just released. And um, we would take these nice long walks in the woods and we would see these animal tracks and we would follow them and they would lead us to real interesting places. And we kind of realized it was really a metaphor for what we were doing with our lives and that was following our own personal fox tracks and and the name was born and our band was born. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How long ago was that? Uh, that was in about March, right? March, okay, fantastic. And I said that you guys have your first EP coming out, right? That's called Cabin, right? Yeah. So uh, talk to me about that, what's that like? So yeah, we just put together a collection of songs. We started writing while we were in the woods at the cabin. Um, and we wrote probably about, I'd say, 12 to 15 songs when we were out there, maybe even more. And it's sort of a, a compilation of about the, the five ones that you know we really liked and, and wanted to share with people. So we just released it on August 28th. We recorded it in Brooklyn at Vinegar Hill Sound with uh, Reed Black, who's an incredible uh, mixer and producer. And uh, we're stoked to share it with the world. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Fox Tracks and, and the cabin, it all kind of fits it together, doesn't it? Huh? It's all congruent, huh? That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I understand that you guys are playing CMJ this year, right? Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Well, we're super stoked to be playing CMJ. I mean, I know when I was in college, I went to CMJ, you know. Back in the day, I caught a lot of great artists, and honestly, it's a, definitely a great first step and also kind of a, a personal goal, you know, and I think I could say that I speak for everyone when I say it's just, it's, a, it's an honor to be selected, and we're gonna have a great time. Did they release uh, where you guys are going to be playing at? Yeah, we're going to be playing at 8 p.m. at Left Field, I believe. Yeah, in New York City, absolutely. That's awesome. I've been to Left Field. It's a pretty cool place. Um, uh, so, uh, personally speaking, who, who inspires you? Let's just go right down the line. Wow, that's a hell of a question. Um, I think really everyone from like Jim Morrison to Ray LaMontagne. I mean, those are my big musical inspirations or obviously the Beatles. And I think uh, I can speak for myself and I think also for John and Jared that were really inspired by great songs and bands that communicated serious emotions with their songs and connected with their fans in that way. And I think that's a huge inspiration for me personally. And I think them as well. Yeah, I think uh, it's, exactly, it's exactly right. I think I'm in the bands mostly that, that write great songs. Uh, it's not about you know, one individual in the band, a great guitarist or a great drummer or a great bassist. I think it's really just about bands that write great songs. And, you know, you look at a band like Coldplay or The Killers or Kings of Leon or Modern Examples or, you know, classic examples could be The Doors or The Who, you know. So for me, it's definitely uh, bands that write great songs. Yeah, and we definitely don't want to leave out all of the DIY artists that we grew up listening to, like a Bon Iver or, um, I don't know, any any other, other band, like Back to Marco, I guess you could say. All those guys who just went out there and, and did it themselves to start off with, it's really been an inspiration, their work ethic and their dedication to writing great songs and recording them well and yeah, definitely. So we're, we are right out on, uh, on Long Beach, beautiful day out by the way. I understand that you had a pretty good summer here, huh? Uh, talk to me about, uh, some, about the summer in Long Beach, how'd you like it? Um, it was a pretty wild experience actually, um, it was really I think the most we've ever played I think we used to play in the West Down basically right down this strip and we would basically play there at least once or twice a week and we really have to thank the local businesses for being so supportive of us and allowing us to play and taking them in and promoting us and promoting Fox Tracks and you know venues like the Inn and the Saloon which we played pretty much every Sunday every other basically for the entire summer and it made it really special and I think it was a huge growing experience for us as a band to get that kind of exposure and to play with people and it was I think it all kind of came home to roost when we were playing a gig a couple weeks ago and some girl on the street is like hey Fox Tracks like how's it going it's like wow we cool. kind of earned a little bit of that respect and that's really cool where can we find you on social media so uh, we're all over uh, that thing called social media uh, Facebook at facebook.com slash Fox Tracks band Twitter at twitter.com slash foxtracksband, Instagram, instagram.com slash foxtracksband, but Bandcamp throws a curveball, it's foxtracks.bandcamp.com. Uh, lastly, uh, after CMJ, what do you guys have planned? I mean, after CMJ, we're just going to keep hustling, keep writing better songs, and 
Hopefully we'll have another EP or full length out, you know, sometime soon. But up until that point, you know, I mean, we're just going to keep grinding and playing more shows, getting our uh, South by Southwest applications ready. And it's, uh, it's the life of an indie band, you know. Yeah, we definitely just want to hit the road, I think, more so than anything. You know, like we love Long Beach, we love Long Island and Oceanside. But I think for the three, speaking for the three of us, I think all three of us do it for a similar reason. We just want to, we want to adventure and we want to see the world. Yeah, I know I already said uh, last last question, but I changed my mind. Best craft beer on uh, best craft beer you're, you're drinking now. That's a question. If you guys have an answer, <laughs> I don't know. Hard food was pretty dank yesterday. Yeah, I don't know. There was some some great like Blue Point seasonal something that was really great. I don't I don't remember exactly what it's called, but Blue Point Brewery can't go wrong. Also local to Long Island, so there you go. Yeah, Blue Point's great. Barrier's great from Oceanside. Um, but I don't know. I can't really go wrong with the, the good beer. Langanitas I've been really into recently, actually. I'm gonna go with uh, an Ithaca Flower Power IPA. I went to school up at, at Cornell, and so I gotta stay true to the roots. <laughs> there you go. Uh, can anybody see you before CMJ? And where? Yeah, we actually have a, a really fun set coming up at Rockwood Music Hall on September 25th at 11 p.m. It's a Friday, and we're actually gonna do an acoustic evening with Fox Tracks and. A nice change of pace for us because I, I, you know, we rock and roll pretty hard. So, um, Rockwood Music Hall in New York City. It's on the Lower East Side, and it's a really great venue, and we're honored to be playing there. So, if you're around, you should come by. Yeah, and we play a, a ton of shows in Long Island. We're the sort of band that'll play like five shows in, in six or seven days. So, uh, if you follow us on social media and you like what you hear, you know, uh, we're always posting new shows, and we'll be playing a lot out in Long Island, especially in the Suffolk County area, uh, in the coming weeks. Fantastic. Once again, Fox Tracks. Check them out.